Here's a little insider's perspective and bold predictions for 2022 as it pertains to real estate. Hi, my name is Scott Jacobs with Jacobs & Company Real Estate, and we've been coming at you every month, breaking down the numbers as to what's really going on in the market. We're kind of looking back now on 2021 and looking forward to 2022. It really doesn't matter if you're East Coast, West Coast, right? I really believe that these predictions are gonna be true for everybody. So here we go. The one thing that we can't ignore is hyperinflation, right? You know, it's no longer something that the federal government would say is like just a temporary thing. It's here and it's here to stay for a little while and it's going to impact real estate and values and the market overall in a big, big way as we move forward into the new year. Guys, here's what I believe that you can reasonably anticipate. I think that we will start to see more and more sellers kind of get off the fence. They're going to realize that, you know, maybe what they thought was their best opportunity to sell, maybe push forward into potentially the spring market in 2022. But let me just tell you this, the spring market no longer starts April 1. It's going to start the beginning of February, okay? So there's my first bold prediction, right? Spring market starts the beginning of February. It's where we're gonna to start to see a lot of people come out of the holiday season, realizing, you know what, that they didn't totally miss the market, their opportunity to cash out on the high end as a seller, and now might be the last best opportunity that they will have in this bull market run that we've had in the real estate market, right? So guys, look for more inventory to come available into the, your marketplace, right? Uh, and onto the market in the earlier part of 2022. Bold prediction number two, I expect this spring market to be in fuego, right? Just on fire, guys. We are seeing a lot of people move into the area. We're seeing also a lot of people have the benefit of teleworking kind of wherever they want to, but they might have to go into their workplace one day, two days, three days a week, but guess what that means for them? They can move out a little bit further. Their dollar stretches a little bit further. So we're seeing more people kind of push to that. Um, maybe where suburbs meet semi-rural to rural communities, you know, and not just in the Washington DC metro area, but around all major metro areas throughout the entire country, right? If you can work anywhere you want to, are you living currently where you want to live forever? We've thrown out a lot of numbers here recently. They're anticipating, you know, home prices to jump as high as 16% in one year. I do believe that due to inflation and the fact that even if we get some more increased inventory, okay, onto the market, we're gonna still be far less than what we have to meet the demand. And what that's gonna mean is higher prices, double digit returns for homeowners in 2022. But I think minimum 10% is very much on the table. Throughout the entire country, you look at the entire United States, on average, the average household gained $50,000 in equity appreciation in 2021. I believe that we can certainly repeat that and maybe outperform 2021 and 2022. I know it sounds crazy, but guys, we really have to pay attention to inflation, the iBuyers, Wall Street really getting involved in buying residential real estate. They're buying apartment complexes, condominiums, and they're jacking up the rent rates to where it makes a lot more sense financially when you sit down with your advisors to probably buy that house than it does to continue to rent, right? Bold prediction, I'm anticipating some kind of black swan event. So what does that mean? You know, I think the crypto bubble bust. If we look uh, back on uh, the dot-com era, right? You know, we saw the dot-com, you know, bust. Uh, we, we've seen other things get like, you know, pumped up. And I believe crypto is one of those where a lot of people have invested money. And look, my, I myself, right? You know, but you only bet with money that you can afford to lose. And I believe that people have certainly overextended themselves into that market. And I am just anticipating a black swan event of some kind. I am just of the mindset that something's gonna happen in the third or fourth quarter that is gonna send us on a different pathway. So so for you as a seller watching this, don't procrastinate. Enjoy the holiday season with your family and your loved ones and look to position your home on the market in early spring, what you might consider late winter, okay? It's gonna be the best advice I could possibly give you. If you're a buyer, look, I've already told you, it's gonna probably be cheaper to, you know, to purchase something that is gonna be uh, to continue to rent because interest rates 
are extremely low right now. So you should work with a good agent, you know, to keep on grinding that for you out there in the marketplace to find you that great opportunity. Hopefully that off market opportunity. We do that a lot for our clients here at Jacobs and Company. I just really believe in my heart of hearts, 2022 is going to be one of the last years of this bull market run that we've had in the real estate market. These are some bold predictions that you guys should start to look for and digest this stuff, right? Because look, um, no, but why nobody has the crystal ball. There are things to look at in the market, right? That would give us guidance, you know, for people that are in the trenches like myself or many of our talented agents here at Jacobs and company, we're in the trenches every day, guys, we're up to our eyeballs. We kind of have a feeling, you know, for what's going on in the markets because we have the pulse. As always guys, if you want any other kind of content and or if you have any questions regarding anything that we're putting out there, feel free to shoot us a message and or better yet, call us at the office. 703 area code 594-3800. I myself and or any of our amazing agents here would love to speak with you. Thank you so much. Happy holidays.